We are finally back on a cruise ship. We took the entire summer off to get in our RV and road trip across the USA. And if you haven't seen those videos, go give them a watch because we did some really cool stuff over the summer. But we are back at home on a ship. Today we are on the Norwegian sky. We are in Baltimore, Maryland. We spent two days here in Baltimore before getting on the ship. And we are here for a New England and Canada cruise, 11 nights. We're gonna have stops in the US and stops in Canada ending in Quebec City. This is all about the fall foliage. You can tell by the weather that it's starting to cool off. It's been in the 70s here in Baltimore and it's just gonna get cooler the more north we get. Let me tell you about this itinerary. I've pulled the itinerary up because I can't remember all the cities in Canada. Right now we are in Baltimore. Our next stop in the U.S. is gonna be Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts, then Boston, Massachusetts, Portland, Maine, and then we head into Canada. And here's where I get my handy dandy notebook out. We are gonna be in Sydney, Cape, Brayton Island, Nova Scotia, Charlatan, Prince Edward Island, Bay Como, La Bay Seguina River, and I know I'm saying that wrong, and then we end in Quebec City. So definitely some places we've never been before. Super excited to try this itinerary. Sometimes you choose a cruise for the ship and all the ship has to offer, and sometimes you choose for the itinerary. We definitely chose this one for the itinerary, but are very pleasantly surprised about this ship. The Sky and the Sun are the two smallest ships in the Norwegian fleet, but let me tell you, NCL does a great job of keeping their ships up. It does not feel like an old ship. It feels like a new ship because it's been so refurbished. And I love two things. One, there's only 2,000 passengers on this ship. You know, these big mega ships, well, let's see how many people we can cram on. Six, 7,000 people. 2,000 people, so that's nice. And this pool deck is awesome. Two very big pools, four hot tubs, and my favorite, there's a shade over the hot tub. First drink of the cruise. I'm going really hardcore with a Coke Zero. And Jason and Mick love Ultra. Light and light. <laughs> One really cool thing about this ship, or small ships, is it's less crowded. Here we are. It's almost sell away time. There's the bin, Topsiders, which is right here on the Lido deck next to the pool. You can actually walk up, get a drink. Service has been wonderful so far. And I know that's, you know, ship by ship, it can be many variables in that, but uh, there's six bartenders right over there. And so far, so good on this ship, the Sky. I'm happy about that. Life is a cabaret. Roll Tide! Hey! Go! Go Tigers! There is an interesting bug here in Baltimore. I don't know what it is. Huh? Oh, it's on Jason's camera now. These things are everywhere. Look. <laughs> Over there. But it's like a moth, or it's some, when it's on the ground, it looks like a beetle. When it flies, it looks like a moth. They land on you everywhere, but they're very pretty. Like the colors, they've got these bright, whenever they're closed, the wings, you can't see anything, but when they open up, they're bright red and beautiful. So I'm kind of like fascinated by these bugs. You know, cool thing about a cruise ship is everywhere you look, there's a bar. Look, there's a bar right there. So convenient. We've been on board for a couple of hours and now we're going to go explore the ship a little bit. So we're going to take you on a mini ship tour of the Norwegian sky. We're starting right here on the Lido deck because this is the heartbeat of the ship. We've got our pools, we've got our hot tubs, we've got our top sail bar, we've got a live band playing right now. Lido right below us is deck 11. We are up on deck 12 and here is a sports deck. So you've got basketball and soccer and whatever other sports you want to play up in here. I love seeing the ships be maintained. We're here in port and they're doing some painting. Norwegian does a great job of keeping their ships in tip top shape. I always like the deck right above Lido. It's quiet up here. There's tons of seating and yeah, it's got its own bar. We're wandering. We just came up to the very front of the ship on deck 12 and we found another pool. So this ship has two pools midship. One of them is considered adult only and this is a family pool. It's very shallow. So it's uh, your little ones can come and play right here and another hot tub. Digging the ship. Oh, 
another observation i swear there are more sun loungers than there are people on the ship there are so many of them while we're forward on the ship we came right down below where we were on the sun deck into the spinnaker lounge I love this about the older classes of ships. The entire front is this like bar observation lounge. And I know that the newer ships have the observation lounge too, but there's entertainment in here in the evenings, which I think is pretty cool. But this is a beautiful space. So we're loving this ship. So I'll be honest, I was a little bit skeptical about coming on a 1999 ship, but Skepticism gone, great ship, great layout, beautiful decor, only 2,000 passengers. I'm digging it so far. All right, so we are at Pulse Fitness now. Huge space. It's one thing I love about these smaller ships is there's less of the rooms and areas to go to, but like places like the gym and the Spinnaker's Lounge, they're bigger spaces. You can feel more people, you can spread out. It feels more roomy, I love that. Great space, great gym, very nice. Walking through the ship, I came through La Cucina, which is the Italian specialty restaurant. But today, on boarding day, they have a pizza station made right here from 12 to 4. So I've never seen pizza served in La Cucina on any other Norwegian ship before. I think that's pretty cool. And it looks good. Of course, you know that I can't pass up pizza. That's some good looking pizza. Super hot. Very good. What's funny is that the pizza tends to vary from ship to ship with Norwegian. Some ships have great pizza and some ships not so much. Like we did not like the pizza on Prima at all, which is weird because we typically like NCL pizza. But this is good. I don't know if it's because it's cooked in La Cucina, that it's like the La Cucina recipe, or if this is what you would typically get on the buffet on the ship. I don't know, but it's a very good pizza. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I really like thin crust, so mm, this is good. Still just out wandering the ship, came out of La Cucina after having that pizza, and here's the teen club. So this is Entourage. Heading towards the aft on deck 11, you come to the local. So this is where you can really tell the ship's been refurbished because on most of the older Norwegian ships, this area is still called Oceans. But on the new ships, it's the local. So the decor is a little different, the vibe's a little different. It's still the same thing, it's like 24 hour, it's 24 hours a day, you can come in here and order food, it's also a bar. But I like the vibe of this local. So a lot of times it's very centrally located, like near an atrium, but this one's different. This one's opposite of Garden Cafe. So on the other side of Deck 11 is Garden Cafe, but over here is the local. And what's a cruise ship without a buffet, right? So here's Garden Cafe. This is midship to aft on Deck 11. There's a very long food station right here, lots of seating, and it goes all the way out to the Great Outdoors. My absolute favorite spot on this ship is the Great Outdoors. So the Pearl and the Jewel have this. Those are other ships that we've been on. It's at the very back of the ship, off the buffet. It's got its own little mini buffet back here, but you've got those beautiful aft views when you're sailing, and you get to sit outside in the nice cool breeze while you eat your lunch or breakfast or whatever. Love this area. It's time for the sail away party. The cruise director is kicking it off right now. This is a very different type of sail away because it's a long time before we actually get out into the open Atlantic Ocean. We have to go through the Chesapeake Bay, which is very long. We're all the way up here in Baltimore and we're going to go out past Norfolk, Virginia before we get into the open Atlantic. So it's going to be hours and it's going to be dark before we are actually in the ocean. So this has been a very chill, laid back kind of sail away. Everyone just kind of found a spot to watch the scenery go by and enjoy this weather. That bridge was very sketchy because it looks like we were this close to touching, but we made it. Well, yesterday on boarding day, we took you around and showed you all the upper decks of the ship. Today is a sea day, and we're gonna show you all the inside of the ship. Timing! Yes! 
So we're in the theater right now. This is on deck seven. We're just checking out the ship. They're working on uh, getting the next show ready. We're just gonna go walk around the ship and check things out. One thing that's really interesting, every single ship I've been on, the main theater has been forward at the very, very front of the ship. On this ship, this is the first time I've ever seen it all the way aft. Also on deck seven are the shops and it's sea day, so they're all open. Midship on deck seven is the casino. Mid forward on deck seven is the atrium. This is where the atrium bar is. There's live music here throughout the day and at night. And the this ship has the panoramic elevators, which we love on the old school ships. on deck seven are cabins but if you go all the way to the very 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 front of the ship you're gonna find Splash Academy and the video arcade and let me tell you this is a really cool Splash Academy I like the decor of it I like that there's windows here where you can look down into the kids areas neat space so the atrium area does span decks seven, six, which we're on now, and then five down below. I always like the atriums on these ships because it gives you just an open view, and I love these panoramic elevators. In the atrium area of deck six, you're gonna find some of the jewelry shops and the internet cafe. As we are walking more to midship on deck six, you're gonna to come to Bliss Lounge. Right now the art auction is going on, but a lot of events are held in here. And at night, this is your nightclub. As we keep going down on deck six, this is the sugarcane mojito bar during the day and at night. This is your trivia spot, but then also, obviously, it's a happening bar in the evening. these classic ships is this deck. This is deck six. It goes all the way around the ship outside. So this is your walking trail, your jogging trail. You can see lots of people out here. This is also just if you want to come and enjoy the sea views, the sea breeze, and get this awesome view off the aft of the ship. Love this deck.
deck five is where you're going to find the main dining rooms and all the way aft is crossings right now sea day brunch is going on so it's quite busy Deck five is a deck that you can't walk all the way through. I'm pretty sure it's the galley that's breaking the deck up, but from crossings in the back, if you want to get to La Bistro, you have to go up the deck six, over, and then down to La Bistro, which is the specialty French dining restaurant. Off of the atrium area on deck five is the second main dining room. This is Palace. Last but not least is the atrium on deck five. Down here you've got the beautiful staircase leading up. Also you're gonna find guest services, shore excursion desk, cruise next desk, and you can make restaurant reservations down here. And that's gonna conclude our mini tour of the Norwegian sky. So decks eight, nine, and 10 are all cabins. Deck four is for cabins, and decks three and below are all crew areas. It is a small ship, but let me tell you, this is a like diamond in the rough. Newly refurbished, very cozy, only having 2,000 passengers makes it easy to navigate, easy to get on and off the ship. That was the easiest embarkation we've ever experienced. So, don't ignore the little ships. This is a good one.